Hello ladies and gents, this is Kano from the Gamer Section back with another review. For today's review is on Deathloop for the Xbox Series X and S, PS5, and PC. You play as Colt that is being hunted by a woman named Juliana. The whole game takes place in the course of a single day in a repeating cycle on an island called Black Reef. You are tasked to break the loop by finding eight visionaries and assassinating them. On Juliana's side, her goal is to keep the loop going. Deathloop's whole presentation is decent at best. Let's start off with the graphics. Although this is not the most impressive game to look at, it's still a step up on the new gen hardware. The music in the game is okay when you go through each section of the island, but not at the point where you are like, this is the jam, or this is the vibe, or when you and listen to the instrumentals. The sound effects on the guns and movement is really on point, so thumbs up to the developers of the game. Death Group is a first person shooter where you can shoot with the guns along with having different abilities in the game. In each loop you can go in each section guns blazing or you can get into it in stealth mode. You earn attack skills, guns, gadgets, and powers. Honestly, this game feels so much like Prey and Dishonored that when you first play it, you feel the similar mechanics on that level. Each time loop gives you more time and freedom to kill 8 targets in the game. Each day have about 4 periods of time to explore, including morning, noon, afternoon, and night, and kill whenever you want to. There are about 4 districts in the island, like the Adam, Carl's Bay, Fristad Rock, and the Complex. Depending on the time of day, the player's actions can reflect on the routines of others and some of the people can get hostile. You will have to learn the targets and put it in the right order to eliminate each target using different weapons. My main problem with Death Group is the headache of the side quests and putting them together in order to get through to the main story in the game. You have to keep going through the loop over and over and over again and do the same things that you've done and it gets really boring after a while. Another issue in the game is finding the codes for some doors and safes. It gets to the point that it becomes impossible to find and gets really annoying too. Another issue in the game is the storytelling that it feels like all you are doing is killing the eight visionaries but the way you are doing it feels repetitive and trying to kill them all in one day feels almost impossible depending on the way you catch them. For that I give Death Loop a 2 out of 5. Thank you for tuning into the best place for gaming and that's the gamer section. Be sure to hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel.